Well, one thing I've been debating is should I get a travel trailer or a condo? Which makes a better home or a better shelter? Because shelter is a primary mechanism of survival for humans. Humans need a level of shelter to survive. And there's three parts of life, survival, exploration, and building. And I have lived in a condo. I have never lived in a travel trailer. I've spent time in travel trailers. And the value of the travel trailer is the mobility. Because you can uh, tow it anywhere. And that flexibility is an asset. The value of a condo is the stability. If there is a storm, you rather be in a condo than a travel trailer. If you have a family member or you need a caretaker to come to your home, more than likely you'd probably rather be in a condo. Um, if you have a travel trailer, you have to find a place to park it because you own the travel trailer, but you do not own the land underneath it. So you're in this constant state of flux. Again, flexibility is great, but one of the primary functions of a shelter is to, is to provide stability in times of instability. So again, if there's a storm, what do you do? Well, with a travel trailer, you can tow it, but sometimes what I've realized being through several storms, uh, hurricanes, uh, snowstorms, is that when storms are coming up the coast, as an example, the East Coast, there's exact landing destination where the storm is going to impact. There's a variation. It can go sometimes all the way from Florida all the way up to New Jersey. I mean, it's the, the track of the storm is not always an exact science. People, they can give you a few days warning, but they can't tell you exactly where it'll hit at what time, especially not until it gets very close. And then it's too late to, you know, tow your travel trailer and go far away. So you really have to be mindful that if you live in a travel trailer, you basically live in a car. A travel trailer is nothing but a car without a motor. Uh, it's a recreational vehicle. And that's fine because it can serve as a shelter. That's why you need it, right? I've used my car, my Jeep that I'm in right now as a shelter and transportation. Uh, and I've survived a couple tropical storms in this car. But I'm also young enough and healthy enough. And, and one thing I do worry about as time goes on is if I had a major issue, uh, I would, you know, not feel comfortable in my car. I mean, a uh, major sickness, major thing, or even a major storm, you know, I mean, so when there was a major storm threatening um, Florida a couple of years ago, Hurricane Doran, uh, I evacuated. I went all the way from Florida and I went into Georgia, South Carolina, North Carolina, and the storm kept coming up further. And uh, eventually, you know, I got to the Northeast and, and it had dissipated. But, you know, we never know. Hurricane Sandy hit New Jersey at the end of October. So you think I'll be a snowbird. I'll go up to, I'll go to the Northeast until hurricane season is over. Hurricane season is over November 30th, I believe. So here you are, you have your travel trailer. You're in New Jersey at the end of October and Hurricane Sandy comes. So you would have to take that travel trailer and tow it west. So if you live in a travel trailer, you have to always be ready to move. I like the ability to be able to move whenever you want. I don't like the fact that there is a, a lack of stability that comes with a travel trailer. You don't own the land underneath it and you're vulnerable to storms or sickness because, you know, travel trailers are not really that home me feel. Uh, so, you know, with a condo, you're attached to others. Uh, you have a level of privacy, but again, you're in an apartment or a condo and, you know, there's the HOA, there's the entanglement, there's the maintenance, there's the liability, and then there's the security. Uh, so, you know, what I found is in comparing the two is trying to think of what do you use a home for? You use, The primary purpose of a home is the shelter. What serves as a better shelter, a condo or a travel trailer? Well, if there's an extreme circumstance, an extreme storm or an extreme sickness or health issue, probably the condo, to be honest. 
Uh, but the travel trailer could certainly do probably for most people for most of their life. So, you know, it's like, do you want to play it extra safe or do you want to take a little bit more of a risk? And so that cost benefit, that lifestyle too, it's the lifestyle difference. There's a difference between waking up in a campground, waking up in a trailer park every day versus waking up in a condominium complex, maybe in an area you like. So that's a lot of it comes down after you do all the cost analysis to lifestyle. And, you know, I guess every lifestyle gets tiresome, even ones that seem exciting. But, you know, also you have to take into consideration when you're in an RV to heat it or to cool it. You're basically, even though it has some insulation, you're, it's very, uh, it's not energy efficient. So, you know, because it's just a tin can with a little bit of insulation. Uh, but there's no central air, which is in a condo, which then you got a $10,000 repair if you have to replace the outside condenser, the inside coil. So, you know, it's, there is that give and take, you know, but what do I say is best? It's impossible to say. I mean, as a home, Long term, yeah, I'd probably have to say the condo, even though I, I would prefer not to. Um, short term or in most cases, the travel trailer would do fine if you accepted the lifestyle. And if you understand that you're not going to really be planted in one area and you want to move around a lot. Um, and certainly there are people that just park their travel trailer and they never move it. Uh, so, you know, it's... You know, I've seen people with travel trailers parked here in Florida. They've been here for years. You know, you could tell they've been parked there for years. You know, they got their travel trailers decaying. And the, you know, the roots have grown underneath their travel trailer. So, you know, who am I to say, you know, what works, what doesn't work? You know, it's, um, it's not an exact science, you know. And so, but hopefully me talking this out gives you some insight. Again, if you're going to get a travel trailer, you have to have a tow vehicle. If you're going to have a tow vehicle on a travel trailer, you have to have somewhere to take them both. You have to know you're more vulnerable to the weather. You're more vulnerable to a severe health issue. If you're going to get a condo, you have to know that, you know, you have more security safety, but you have more maintenance liability and entanglement with an HOA and within that community. So the lifestyles, the risk rewards, uh, the variables that these things bring is subject to individual interpretation, a certain part of your life and what you're trying to do with your life. Certainly I, I got burnt out living in a condo. Certainly I, I've getting burnt out living on the road, you know? So, you know, again, I can understand both perspectives. I really can. And so hopefully again, by me talking this out, this is just an exercise to talk it out for myself, to help you for those who are considering the lifestyle to talk it out with yourself. And we just keep pushing forward one day at a time, one step at a time, when in doubt, show up, when in doubt, self-care, go for a walk, drink more water, okay, and do something uh, uh, productive each day, try to do something creative, do something um, uh, that you don't want to do, laundry, work, whatever, and thank you for watching, thank you to all my members who support the channel, if you'd like to support the channel, click the blue join button, click the thumbs up on the way out, you can check out my playlist, which has thousands of free videos, and um, this is just something to keep the sun off my head in the hot Florida sun, which I love. Thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.